the Borough defender, who had played every minute up to this stage, started once more for 80 Booth Road side, and lasted a little under 75 of the 80 minutes as England booked the place in the competition's final, it was a familiar fixture for both sides, they had met at the same stage of the annual Toulon tournament last year as well as at the Riverside Stadium in European Championship qualifying back in October, with England emerging victorious in both games. But it was Scotland, who had won their group at the expense of France, Togo and South Korea, who took the lead. Both sides had hit the post in frantic opening exchanges before Celtic youngster Michael Johnston beat two opponents and rifled into the top corner. Though it took England until the second half to recover from that setback, they did it in fine style with a confidence showing in the latter period that fully merited victory. Arsenal's Eddie Nketiah, who made his under-21 debut earlier in the competition, took the game to Scotland, first teeing up evidence Callum Connolly to equalise before putting the young Lions in front, nutmegging his marker and slamming into the top corner. Nketiah added his second in the 69th minute to give England a bit of breathing space, and that was how the scoreline read as, for I was replaced by Fikayo Damori with five minutes to play. Oliver Burke, who had also hit the woodwork early on, could not capitalise on an error from John Ju Kenny to reduce the deficit, and that was as close as Scotland came to clawing away back in. The result sets up a final appearance for England against Mexico, who bested Turkey in the other semi-final. The sides played out a stalemate when they met in the group stages, with the Mexicans prevailing as group winners by virtue of scoring a single goal more. England will be hoping to better that result on Saturday and seal what would be a third successive crown in the annual Toulon tournament.